earpods. Okay. Apple earpods. Earpods. Are the most popular headphones in the world. And with iPhone 7 and 7 yes, Plus, we're moving lightning. to connecting them over Lightning. Well, why over Lightning? Well, first, you may not remember. No headphone I jack. certainly do. But from the start, we designed Lightning to be a I great presume in the box, audio but I'm connector. Wait. Among all the other things it does, it provides a digital audio stream. It provides power to your headphones or speakers. You got bingo, dear. You got bingo. Do lens camera. Like you have a bingo. Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> Cross the bottom, project, bingo. But there are now in the world over 900 million Lightning-enabled devices. So uh, and over that means you get a brand new iPhone. Congratulations. In the world. Thank you so You're welcome. Much. And I and guess an Apple Watch. And headphones <laughs> so that matter. Designed to take advantage of it. And they do that great things. Oh, man, I could have so won a phone. one example. <laughs> this is from JBL. This is the Reflex Aware workout These headphone. are other companies are offering it's affordable, lightning adapter headphones, which active noise can only be used with one device in your, iPhone, in your entire it's adaptive, house. And you can adjust how much exterior noise you no. want to let in or how not. How much money do you want to spend on the headphones that can only be used with your phone? You don't think you can use them on your iPad? That lightning connector. Oh, interesting. It's simply not possible. I guess you could. Just an analog You're right. Port. I stand corrected. So we're taking the headphones, an iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, to lightning, and we're including them in the box with each device. In the box. Why? Now we know Why are there are you people doing in the world who the do box. have some analog old connected devices. <laughs> I, you won. Oh, it's so over. we've also made. This. Wait a minute. Oh, I got a free space. Adapter. I guess I got one. Lightning too. to mini phono audio adapter. <laughs> and we're going to include I that. I guess I get a new iPhone. Every <laughs> iPhone 7 and I have 7 to get Plus you a new iPhone. as well. Yay. Okay. Dongle, oh, in, the dongle, dongle in the box. Dongle in the box. <laughs> now, some people have asked why we would remove. The analog headphone jack from the iPhone. I mean, it's been with us a really long time. I'm sure you know that the the source of this phone. Those are not headphone jack jacks. I might point out those are. To help that's a exchange and switch. That's boards. a patch bay, not a. Well, headphone. the reason to move on. I'm going to give you three of them, but it really comes down to one word: courage. The courage to Please. move on, <laughs> do something new that betters all of us. And our team has tremendous. How do you generate the, the, so first, this, the, the BS emoji on that we my can iPad use here? For our inbox headphones and to adapt to all, the, all, the, all the older devices. <laughs> we are to be praised for this. And we will be noting carefully which one of you are going to be praising us for this. Very large base of users who can all take advantage of it. But second, and this is really important, our smartphones are packed with technologies, and we all want more. We want bigger, dis brighter displays. We want larger batteries. We want faster processors. We want stereo speakers. We want taptic engines. We want all of that. And it's all fighting for space within that same enclosure. And maintaining an ancient, single-purpose, analog, big connector doesn't make sense because that's Useful, space that reliable, and expensive, affordable and third, connector. And I think this is most important of all. When you have a vision of how audio, the audio experience can be, you want to get there as fast as you can and make it as great as it can be. And we do have a vision for how audio should work on mobile devices. Courage that was takes us probably the wrong, future. precisely the wrong way to justify Wireless. this. Wireless. Now, this is where I want to hear about the AirPods. Up till now, no one has taken on the challenge to really deliver the yeah. audio experience wirelessly between your mobile device and your headphones in a way that takes advantage of the opportunities to do something new and do something great. And up till now, no one has taken on the challenge of fixing the things that are difficult to do in those wireless experiences and made it easy so that we all want to enjoy them. And it makes no sense to tether ourselves with cables to our mobile devices. But until someone takes on these challenges, that's what we do. Okay, lots of people have been well, doing that, Our team that, at Phil. Apple has worked so hard to create something new that delivers on the opportunity of how good a wireless experience can be. And they've worked hard to deal with the challenges that have been left there and no one has taken on. So that is why today we are so excited to show you a new product from Apple called Apple AirPods. There you go. Lin Chi Kuo got it. And here they are. So the question marks, of course, are battery life and price on these. We believe in a wireless future. So if they do a lot of DSP on the device for noise reduction, where all of your devices and if these cost less than hundred dollars, they can get away with two hundred. Belief drove the design of our new wireless AirPods. Those, they would never stay in my ears. But notice that they're 
Is that for a They microphone? feel as though the physical design is part of the brand identity, so it looks exactly like... ...with the development or, of the new Apple Design W1 chip. It is the first of its kind to produce intelligent, high-efficiency playback while delivering a consistent and reliable connection. It is the complaint people make about Bluetooth is the unreliability Infrared sensors of the detect when each AirPod is in your ear. So they only play once you're ready to listen. Motion accelerometers also respond to your touch, allowing you to access Siri with a double tap. Oh, interesting. So there's a microphone. When you're on speaking, it. voice accelerometers recognize the vibration and source of your voice. Voice accelerometers. Then, working with a pair of beam forming microphones, reduce external noise. Now that's interesting. Each AirPod provides up to five hours of listening five on a hours. single charge. While the compact wireless charging case delivers more than 24 hours of battery yeah, life. that's pretty typical. You store them in a case with a the battery. The W1 so. chip enables intelligent connection to all your Apple devices and allows you to instantly switch between whichever one you're using. Works with the uh, Apple Watch. Just what you were looking for. And of for. course, the new wireless AirPods deliver incredible you need, sound. You look, just put a headband around your ears to hold them in. We're just That's, at the I beginning of a truly wireless future we've been oh. working towards for many years. Okay, so years. are they using a Where new internal standard for communication? Yes. The reason why this is only Apple. You yes. and your devices. W1. No, no, but that, that's a chip inside the headphones themselves. It's not Bluetooth. I hope they call it Airtooth. <laughs> Airtooth. Air, air gap. Congratulations to the team that has worked so hard on this. It is a breakthrough design. The AirPods deliver truly an Apple magical experience. When you try it, you're just going to be blown away. How do you set them up? You simply put a pair of AirPods near your iPhone and open the case. And does it the work user with interface older pops iPhones? Up and says connect. And you tap connect. And that's it. There's no step two. There's nothing else to do. You simply connect. And that one step also connects you with your Apple Watch. So you're automatically set up for both your iPhone and your Apple Watch. Ecosystem you can start lock-in writ large. And as you have playback but if it's on either better, device, the AirPods nope. automatically switch to whatever right. device you're using. Well, it needed to be better fact, if they're going to drop the iCloud to propagate Bluetooth that setup across your iPads oh, that's and your Macs as well. So one step set up across all your devices. It's that easy. They're an incredible audio experience. You can listen to beautiful music in stereo, or if you want to use one just to talk to Siri or make a phone call, it automatically okay, nice. routes the audio across whatever you choose to do. There's no buttons, there's no switching, there's no pairing, there's no unpairing. Those things are of the past. And it all started with a brand new chip, the W1 chip, Apple's first wireless chip. And there's so much technology packed into each AirPod. There's the chip, there's dual accelerometers, optical sensors, beam-forming microphones, antennas, batteries. It is a technical tour de force in this minute little AirPod. They deliver great battery life, five hours each. And there's a battery and charger built into its case. So you can recharge directly from the battery in the case for up to 24 hours of That's listening. what Motorola did. Others have done that. That's you kind of what you have to do with these. And the AirPods together at once. And they're so small, you want to carry them around with you everywhere. Here they are alongside our wired ear pods. Yeah, it's a pretty small they're case. Really it's a dental floss box <laughs> size. Or, of course, thicker. So that Comp is the in the chat room pointed out, you got to keep these away from kids Based so on they don't w swallow one them. <laughs> yeah. And at the same time, Not appropriate for Beats toddlers. is also coming out with a new line of headphones, all also taking advantage of this W1 chip and doing the so same Beats great is going to support this to make the experience new easy to standard use. that so Apple today, just introduced for wireless. Beats is launching the new Beats Solo 3 Wireless. Incredible audio quality to 40 hours of listening time using that W1 chip. And for workouts, Beats, Power Beats 3 Wireless, the best active headphones, and now they use our W1 chip as well for incredible sound and battery life. And an entirely new line, Beats X. This is an You know, if you're going to go proprietary, go all in. For all throughout your day. Those three... Plus the new AirPods mean there's now Lightning a plus brand new wireless experience for everyone, means regardless of what kind of style of headphone you want to wear. Total lock-in. And that's wireless.